right, all right, this is Ava Landon here uh, with our next video. And this one's pretty much uh, for day one. It's cutting a fat quarter, but I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this could be any day. So this is what a fat quarter is. They're really kind of cool. They, uh, if you go to a quilt shop, and I think, oh, I believe Joanne still carries them. What you'll notice is that this is a quarter piece of fabric. I'll back up so you can see the whole thing and on one side this side right here with the ruler that is 22 inches and on this other side going up and down is 18 now sometimes they could be slightly different I've heard of someone saying a fat quarter was as large as 26 I have no clue about that I've never seen one that large um, they usually come in 18 by 22 or 21 it's definitely always going to be 18 inches because um, of the way it's cut. Uh, and I think that's about it for what a fat quarter is. They're really kind of cool because um, if you're just looking for fabric or maybe you don't need a fabric, you just stop in a store and you see something that you like and have no clue what you're going to do with it. Um, you just pick these little buddies up. Uh, prices vary. Um, they are, I've seen them as low as a dollar... Oh, I'm sorry, independent quilt shops will carry them as low as $1.40. Um, Joann's occasionally puts them on sale for $0.99. Cents. And I think if you buy them whole, like just the regular retail price is usually about two seventy-five. I've seen them as high as $3 or more, depending on what the uh, type of fabric is. But for cotton, it usually ranges somewhere between $2 and $3. Okay, so getting back to the cutting. Um... To cut these, you're actually going to turn it around and you need it to be 22 inches long and you want the short side, the 18 inch side closest to you. Uh, the reason that we do this is because we're using this in strips and for 22 inches, you'll get the most bang for your buck. So what we do is, I'm sorry if you didn't see the other video, we actually have to edge it up or true it up or just correct it <laughs> from when you buy it. And so what you're going to do is you, and I'm going to kind of go quickly through this because it's on the other video. And of course, in the descriptions, I'll tell you where to find that. And so I generally, let's see if we can see the top part of that. Um, I like to line these up. Um, always line the 18 inch side. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is that I have a lot of wrinkles in this um, because I don't always pre-press. For this one, because it's so many wrinkles, if you have this many, it's probably in your best interest to go ahead and press it. Um, as far as washing these, um, I don't wash them because they're such small pieces of fabric and depending on the shrinkage, it can, you'll end up short for your quilt. So I, I wouldn't recommend that either. But for pressing, definitely go ahead and press it. Um, this is not a fabric that I would generally cut like this because it's just, it's got too many wrinkles. Um, all these wrinkles, if you're wondering why you should press it, these can create bumps. If you notice that when I lay the ruler down, it sort of spreads it out. It just makes a really inaccurate cutting. And then uh, the more inaccurate your cuts are, the more problems you have later. You see how like the ruler kind of bumps over it? Uh, it's just not good. But I mean, for our purposes, since I'm just showing you how to, uh, to cut it, um, I'm gonna use my two and a half inch ruler. Um, this is an Omni Grid one. I, I prefer it because I make a lot of strips and it's just easier for me. And what we're going to do is you'll see right here, I'll get really close. And you're going to edge this up. You want the, the bottom of this to be exactly even. See that? To the bottom. And you just go to the side. Let me make sure it's all the way even. Another way to do this is just to take a secondary ruler if you have one. There we go. And you want to get the secondary ruler exactly 
the lines even right here because that that yellow line is my mat and so long as all of the lines here are straight when you push this two and a half inch ruler it'll also be straight and so my ruler actually runs out um so i sometimes you can if you leave the secondary ruler there you can cut to about right here and then slide the ruler up and then cut some more um the other option is to fold the fabric in half and see if i can grab this with one hand which may make it easier and so again you'll see how these these wrinkles are really going to screw up the cutting if i was to cut it um, if you want to fold it in half, you may. Uh, the only thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you line the line right here. That folded edge, make sure it's even all the way across. Um, since I haven't gone ahead and edged this up, it's something I would do now. And so you would ed edge it pretty much to get rid of this piece right here. And then once you've done that, you'll come back. And this sometimes makes it a little easier because you'll notice that now the ruler extends above it. You want to get this line, or any line on here in fact, you just want it to be even all the way across. And when, we're just gonna assume that I had to edge this up and so those pieces that you see right there would be gone. And then you take your nifty little rotary cutter. And now this guard, guard is on, so I'm not cutting with one hand. I do not recommend that. Please don't do that. And uh, you just go all the way up. Um, as far as proper cutting, you're going to, these are all for right-handed instructions because I, uh, I'm not left, so I have no clue um, how you guys do it. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, so you want to just hold this pretty taut. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. Out of the way. Because these little suckers are sharp and they will cut you and then you will bleed all over your very expensive fabric. So try to avoid that. Plus, I mean, you're going to need your index fingers for, um, or the index finger and your thumb for sewing. So yeah, keep those out of the way. And you just hold and you press it uh, pretty taut again and then you would slide the ruler. I'm sorry, slide the ruler. You would slide the rotary cutter up. All right, so that explains how we're gonna cut these fat quarters. Um, I believe, because I'm not looking at the instructions, please look at the website to double check me. I believe that there, you need 12 fat quarters for this quilt. You need six for the, uh, six for the printed fabric, and then you'll need six in a, a solid fabric. And I believe that is it for today. Uh, definitely check out the website. It's avalandon.wordpress.com. Uh, I've gone ahead and written up all the instructions that you would need, hopefully. If not, uh, feel free to comment here on YouTube or you can comment on my, my website. Thanks again and have a great day.